Hey everyone, in this session we are going to discuss about how we can create a drill through button in Power BI. With this, we are also going to cover what is drill through feature, what is drill through action into Power BI desktop. Then we are going to discuss about this entire drill through procedure with one of the use case and scenario. And after that, we will talk about the how we can pass the filter context in drill through action. And at last, we will discuss about the limitations of this drill through action on the button. So now let's get started. So first of all, let's talk about what is drill through feature. We all aware about the drill through functionality in Power BI where let's say for an example, this is my visual on and whenever I click on this drill through and select the detailed page, it will filter my data based on the selected element from the visual. So this is the basic idea about the drill through. So basically you can drill through the data for the selected portion or a selected context, right? Now what is drill through button action? So let's say for an example, you have a requirement like let's say for an example, when user select any of the element from your visual and uh, once they select any of the component, uh, they click on button and they will be redirected to the page where they can do the filter data. So it is called a drill through button. So how can I create this drill through button in the Power BI? We will check out this information in detail in this video. So basically with the March 2020 update of Power BI desktop, new role feature has been rolled out where you can add one additional action to your button which is the drill through action. So now let's get started. First of all, let me explain you the scenario. This is my database and I have different project tasks and different status with its start date and end date. Now let me talk about my report. So here I have two visualization on my page. In first of the page, uh, in first uh, on this visualization, I have count of project task by status. So basically this is my status and it is showing the count of project. Now here it is showing the count of project task by month. So here it is the starting month and it is the count of the project task. All right. And now I have the detailed page where I have uh, showing where I am showing all the information in detail with the table visualization. All right. Now uh, let's say for an example when user select any project status I want to have a button and this should be redirected me to the detailed page. So how can I create that? So first of all, let's add button over here. I am adding a blank button over here. Set a text for your button. Now let's just set our button like this. So now you can see that my button is disabled by default until you select anything from the visualization, right? Now uh, after you add that button, make sure that you need to set the drill through parameter. So go to your detailed page and now I want to apply drill through from the status column. So let's add status as a drill through parameter over here. So keep all the filter as on and let's add status over here. All right. So I added my status over here. Now go to the home page and select this button. Now go to the action and turn it on. Once you turn the action on, you can see the two different types of action has been added. One is drill through and second one is page navigation. For page navigation, I have created the separate video. You can view that video from the description box. All right. Now from here, select this drill through preview option. So once you select the drill through, it is asking you for the destination. So I am selecting the detailed page from here. Now remember here one thing that if you are not able to view any option from this destination option, that means that you haven't set your filter parameter over here. So make sure that you set your drill through parameter properly into drill through section to your detailed page. All right. So I have set that parameter. Now go to the action again. So you can see these two settings that you need to perform. Now let's taste this button. So let's say for an example, currently I am setting, currently I am currently I am clicking on this 
bar. So once you click on that, you can see that button is enabled automatically because it is passing the drill through parameter from this button. So if, if you do not select anything from your report page, it is disabled by default. All right. So just click on control plus click. So you can see that the status has been filtered automatically with waiting on feedback. All right. And you can see that this filter has already been applied into your drill through section. Now click on back and let's select completed. So, and now click on the detailed information. So you can see that completed is filtered automatically. Now let's talk about how we can pass the filter context into drill through action. So let's say for an example, I have selected here waiting on feedback and based on that this this visual has been filtered automatically. Now I want to only view the data which has been appear in the month of September and it is waiting on feedback. So press control from your keyboard and click on the September month. Now click on the detailed information. So you can view here it is showing only the data for waiting on feedback where start date month is September. All right. So this is how you can pass the multiple filter context from your page. All right. Now at last let's discuss about its limitation. So currently this drill through action is only supported for inbuilt visualization. So whatever the visualization that are available over in this section, it only supports this drill through feature. Few app source uh, visualization is also supporting this, with this drill through option, but uh, not all the visuals are supported. So basically we recommend to use the out of the box visualization for this drill through feature. Also, it doesn't support the cross filtering. So if you if you wish to apply the cross report filtering in your report, it is not supporting at this moment. So hope this is clear for you now. This is how you can apply the drill through action on your button and create the drill through button in Power BI. You can create the same drill through button with your report and share your opinion with me into comment section. If you have any question related to this topic, share your opinion with me on the comment section or you can use this to inform uh, the, uh, you can email me at drovinsha16 at gmail.com or you can whatsapp me on this number which is plus 919537981467 same video is available in a form of a blog which is in the c sharp corner the link is available in the description box if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you go to my channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. Also, if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, just click on this link. This will be redirecting you to this form, fill the form and you will be receiving the daily notification about any new video on your WhatsApp number quickly. Stay connected with me, stay healthy, let's fight together against coronavirus. Have a great day. Goodbye.